So if, if that's your lead, you have to leave. My money's in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide by the rules, and, and you have to have a mask on. Is, is this a state? It's not. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service, even if you're not wearing that's a mask. That's you their take choice. Your money out. Awesome. Okay. Well, you need to go and get a mask, and then take your money out. You're not allowed to do. Ma'am, listen. Minutes. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. Arrest me? Yes, for intruding on premises. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, and you believe in this? I believe in it. Do you believe in this? The law is yes. The law says that I do not have to wear a mask. You don't, not in public, my but you're not in public. You're not in public. Yes. I'm not going to argue with you about place. this. This is not a public place. This is a private I'm business. No, you're business? not. You we're going to go outside. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Well, I don't know because let's, let's go obviously you've got some issues. I've got issues. That you're taking away okay. people's human rights. Okay. Oh, now he's going to shoot me, people. He's no. going to shoot me for trying not to breathe. Cool. Come cool. on, Come on, dude. Don't re Oh, don't do that. Oh, no. Do not touch me. Who do you think you are? Point time. Oh, back time. up, back up. Some old lady is getting handcuffed here. And Are put you? your hands behind oh your back. Goodness. Say, you don't stop resisting. Are you, stop. Are you going to, is anybody going to like get real here? Really? Relax. No one's going to get real. Wow. Oh. Come on. Oh, I'm going to smash my hip down now. Now you're smashing my arm into my private area. Your private area? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. My hand is behind my back, sir. This one. Turn over on your stomach. Put your hand behind your back. Relax. I'm totally relaxed. No, you are not relaxed. Please not relaxed at all. Right here, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, what about your sheep? Someone's filming this. You're hurting me. Oh, I'm filming it. This is like... Yeah, this okay. Stand up. Stand up. Stand yourself up. And how do you suggest, sir? I am like a 65 year old woman here. Okay. Sit what are up. you doing? Stand up. Are you going to make one favor? Stand up. Are you going to make one favor? Are you trying to speak Spanish to people? I do speak Spanish. Okay, well, stand up. Are you happy now, lady? Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm not happy. You okay, stand up. To... Stand up. Come on. You know what? I think she's getting your stuff. Come on. I think you broke my freaking foot. Okay, I'll call. And that's my business over there. Yeah, she's gonna pick it up. Come on. We're going outside. Oh. One in custody. Wow. Not wearing a mask, people. This is what they do to you. Slow, buddy. Yeah. Okay, um, I got my dog in my truck. In I got you. I'm 10 for uh, send me a mask for a 60 year old white female. She's complaining of uh, foot pain. Yeah, you Take broke a seat. my damn foot. Take a seat. We and I were out with her. Okay. Take a seat. Are you, where's your mask? Where's your I'm mask? I'm six feet away from you. Oh, well, I was six feet away from those people All right, there, too. In there. Get inside. Come on, you guys. Get Let's inside. get real. This is 65-year-old Terry Wright, and this incident happened in Galveston, Texas, at a Bank of America. She went in there maskless and expected to be served as a customer. And as you can see, the police was called, and they took her down to the ground and handcuffed her. And... You know, the part that made me laugh is when she was down on the ground in the bank and she said, this is police brutality. And all of the customers in the background said, no, no, <laughs> you should have had a mask on. I was like, wow, they didn't go along with her at all. So this happened. Um, this article came out March 13th, 2021. Uh, Galveston, 
lifted its mask mandate on Wednesday, but that doesn't mean that business owners are going along with it. Many of them are not. They are still requiring a mask if you come into their place of business. Within a day, one woman's refusal to do that ended in handcuffs and struggling with police. A trip to the hospital confirmed Thursday at a Bank of America, Galveston, Terry Wright scuffled at the idea that she could face criminal consequences. What are you going to do? Arrest me? She said to a police officer who had just informed her that in an exchange that was captured on his body camera, that if staff told her to leave, she had to comply. The law says that I do not have to wear a mask, Wright insisted, stating incorrectly that she was in a public place. A minute and a half, uh, Terry Wright was crouched on the floor, hands cuffed behind her back. Police brutality right here, she said, towards the people in line. And she actually thought people were going to just come over and help her. Did you see the way she was like, like, oh, well, you know, she was just implying, somebody just come over here and help me. Nobody's coming to help you. You know, when you go out maskless and these things happen, just know you're on your own. So police brutality right here, people, she said towards the people in line. No, someone said. No, it's not. Another said. Wright's defiance came as Republican Governor Greg Abbott. This is his decision to drop the mask mandates and let business operate at full capacity, leave store owners uh, to make and enforce their own rules. Now, he may have lifted the mask mandate, but many of these business owners are saying, oh, hell no, you gonna come in here with a mask on. Okay. So Texas and other states are moving to swiftly reopen their economies and in restrictions meant to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Millions of people have been vaccinated. That's not true. It's not even, the, in fact, the majority of the people in the country are still not vaccinated. They always over-exaggerate everything. Isn't that what they do? Um, but with the, vex, uh, the virus variants, spreading and most Americans still awaiting their shot, health officials said it's far too early to ditch face coverings. Yeah, they're, they're going to set the whole country back. You watch. Thursday's struggle at the bank underscored the challenges of maintaining mask requirements, uh, though Wright said in an interview that she was never covering her face inside of stores statewide or so she's saying she ain't doing it no matter what. Mm -mm -mm. Galveston police said they have issued a warrant for the 65 year old's arrest on a ledge. Of, so, so they're getting her for a uh, trespassing and resisting arrest. Wright said she was attacked, described her belief in the pandemic a uh, reference uh, to a widely shared misinformation filled video uh, compared mask requirements to the way that the Nazi Germany forced to choose. <laughs> Trust me, you wearing a mask ain't nothing like that. Oh my goodness. Uh, she said she has no regrets and that people can't cancel me. I'm retired. She maintained that the law is on her side and told the Washington Post that she plans to call the police on Monday. She said she is in Hitchcock, Texas, RV park across the bay from Galveston. I feel like I took one for the team because people need to wake up, she said, decrying mask mandates. Police said Wright sustained minor injuries and was taken to the University of Texas Medical Branch health in Galveston. Wright said it was more serious. Yeah, because she wants to sue. Um, she showed a post reporter a boot on her foot and papers from the Thursday visit to UTMB. 
describing multiple fractures. The bank did not comment on the incident beyond providing information on its mask policy. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention and other medical experts continue to reinforce the importance of using face coverings and practicing physical distancing in all public spaces, said a spokeswoman Carla Molina, explaining that customers who are uncomfortable or unable to wear a mask can use ATM or drive through windows. Yeah, that's true. You don't even have to get out of your car and go in there. Body camera footage released by Galveston police shows the officer walking into the bank and conferring with a woman using a blue surgical mask. The woman points towards right, saying quietly, she's right over there. So you saw the whole thing, you know, she got put on the floor, her purse and other items she had went everywhere. Uh, I guess that was a bank employee that was picking all the stuff up and took it outside as she was getting put into the police um, SUV that was out there. So, you know, just expect to see this a lot more in the future because you're going to have many people being defiant. And it's, it, you know, really it's hard for the um, businesses out here. You know, you got a governor calling off mask mandates, but many of these businesses don't agree with that. So they got a tough battle ahead of them over these coming months. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.